Um, so thank you for introducing the resolution of declare a climate emergency. My name is Emily Gonzalez. I'm a student at Coral Gable Senior High School. And I'm representing Fridays for Future and a bunch of other um, climate activists that are here that are wanting to make Coral Gables a more eco-friendly city. So I'm very thankful for all of you being very eco-friendly, such as having very nice um, recycling and that you eliminated plastic and that you have eco-friendly cars and things like that. But I'm sorry to say that this is not the, this is not the only way to solve the climate, the climate emergency that is happening now in Miami. Um, we thank all of you for your leadership and everything that you've done, but this is something that will not help our future generation and kid, like your kids, grandkids, and everyone's grandkids here. So um, it calls for a different measure that sets, it calls for a different set of measures. The only way to save the city of Coral Gables is by having the chance of staying below 1.5 degrees, which, is, which science says it is necessary in order to avoid the worst effects of the climate of the global warming. Our, carb our carbon budget would be exhausted by a, at a current emission rate in seven years and 11 months. The best and only way to aware the Coral Gable City Hall crisis that we striked in front of Coral Gable City Hall for five for four months, and we were, we were there for the four four months, and there was nothing until finally today in January. We um, it is the time for the city of Coral Gables uh, to the science and declare climate emergency to save our city by reducing and eliminating carbon emissions to have a livable planet. There are currently 1,250 local governments and 25 counties that have already declared climate emergency, such as Miami Beach, the city of Miami, and Surfside. You guys could follow their footsteps and could be an amazing influence and actually save Miami from the climate, from the climate sea level rise. The youth and the constituents of Miami ask you, our elected leaders and the people in the power to act for the future generation, such as your kids and grandkids. Um, as Peter Carter, experts review for an intern, intergovernmental panel on climate change said last month, we are on this ex absolutely critical crux of emissions in atmospheric greenhouse gas concentration, whereby every year matters. All three major greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitri nitrous oxide, are the levels not seen in the millions of years and on accelerating trend. This means that we are on the trend of biosphere collapse. To have the reasonable chance of staying below 1.5 degrees, like I stated before, we have to take action. This is something that we cannot just continue recycling. This is not just have, um, I know Ms. Gion that you stated that there are issues such as recycling and the batteries and the boxes that it's something very difficult and I understand because it's very hard recycling but we still have to act on this. We only have eight years left for our future right generation to have a great and safe, a great and safe future for all of us. And thank yes, you very much. Thank you. thank you. Thank you very much for a great presentation. Um,